Now this is just going to be a uh, quick video and it came about from a question on the uh, Facebook group Antennas and the guy was asking how you go about soldering onto such a small solder cup like on this SMA connector here because you don't want to use anything too thin um, you know I say for a monopole uh, you want a minimum of uh, 1.5 millimeter thick and this is some brass brazing rod I really like working with this stuff this is 1.5 millimeters thick but it's obviously too thick in diameter to fit into that little solder cup so this video is going to show you how I do it now obviously we're going to use a uh, Dremel tool to get the diameter of this down and your first thought maybe to uh, the tool to use is a sanding drum like uh, this one here now I don't use these because these tend to um, ground down to a sharp point like I've done on this one here and if I bring in the uh, little uh, solder cup here you don't get a lot of purchase on it when you do that um, yeah you can solder it in place but it's going to be a really really weak joint so let me show you what I do to uh, get that down to make a much stronger permanent joint so this is my Dremel and I've got in here a uh, resin cutting disc. You can buy these pretty cheap off of uh, eBay. Uh, I also used to have a little uh, grinding disc that was uh, a little bit thicker than this. Um, looked a little bit like this one but uh, that kind of thickness. But uh, I dropped my Dremel and it smashed the grinding disc on the end. But I'll have to get myself some more of those ones. But uh, basically we're going to use this and not the uh, sanding disc and we're going to grind this down so we've got a nice little peg on the end that we can solder into so I'm going to turn my Dremel on now because I want to show you as I'm uh, actually doing it but uh, I'll be uh, putting some music over so we don't uh, damage our eardrums but here we go and by the way I only use this at half speed not full speed of the Dremel full speed is just way too fast So that's all the grinding out of the way. Now what I'm going to do now is shorten it a little bit because it's a little bit too long and also clean up the uh, tarnish with some uh, wire wool so we can get some solder to stick on the end of there. So I've shortened that little peg so it fits in there a lot better and cleaned it up with some wire wool. And you can see it will sit in that solder cup now even without any solder. That's what you're looking for. So we can just tin this up now, tin the uh, little solder cup up and then make the two permanently together so I've got a little bit of tin on the end of my uh, brass rod here a little bit of tin in that solder cup and I'm going to marry them both together now a little bit of heat get them lined up and that's it so if you need to you can get in there with a file clean any uh, excess solder off there but now that is a really really good strong joint and it's also the same method that I use with this uh, wider stuff this is uh, 2.3 millimeters thick brass brazing rod same principle using that uh, grinding disc just to uh, take it down to a nice straight even point not a uh, spike like this one here and again same method and you get a really good solder joint and here is the finished driven element cut off to the right size for 2.4 gigahertz hopefully you found this useful and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one